What is up, YouTubers? Today we're gonna to talk a little bit about this Kershaw Launch 13 knife. It's uh, a, another automatic in their line of the Launch series. And uh, this particular one is the, the most recent one. It, it's actually quite interesting. Uh, some might say it's Elijah Isom inspired, but I just say, you know, they say that it's industrially inspired, and I have no problem with that. Um, it is a very interesting Warncliffe blade. One of the things you'll notice is that it's tilted a little bit up instead of straight. So I'm holding the knife straight, but it is uh, at a little bit of an upward tilt. So that's quite interesting, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, and also, they call this one a, a two-toned blade color, but it's really largely satin with just a little bit of remaining blackout from the grind. So we'll talk a little bit about that as well. Um, the knife is 2.4 ounces. It's a three and a half inch blade. Uh, made out of CPM 145 steel. And I got mine at Knife Center for $109 during the Kershaw fire sales. It normally sells for about $124. So I, I think a fair price for this. Um, not overly expensive, not overly cheap for this one as well. As far as uh, the things I really like about it, the fidget factor is fantastic. It actually also has a relatively easy walk back. Um, so you got to practice with it a little bit, but it does have a single-handed walk back, so that's kind of nice. Um, I think similar to some of the uh, the easier going pro techs, which is not all of them, but some of them. So in that sense, I, I kind of really like that. Um, the quality of build is excellent. It, it's also very unique. I have been firing this probably at least 500 to 1,000 times over the last three weeks as I've been carrying it. And uh, really no problems at all. It's still perfectly centered. So um, in, in that sense, it's, it's a really well-made blade, um, certainly for the 2.4 ounces that, that you're getting out of this. It seems very sturdy in the hand. It fits quite nice. Um, it, it, ironically, it doesn't really have a swell there. It actually has kind of a recess, but it, it fits really nice in the hand, not for heavy push cuts, um, but for, for, for light EDC duties and the things like that. Um, it also has some really nice chamfering around here. So it, it, that part of it really made it comfortable for the last three weeks. And I also like that it, it had this hidden lanyard hole that I went ahead and uh, did hook up my own lanyard to it to see how it would function and if that, that you know my lanyard would get cut in there it did not get cut so in that sense it worked really really well it also does have a deep carry pocket clip um, which worked really well you know I, I kind of appreciate that a little bit different than um, some comparison knives which we'll go ahead and put some of those up here so I had previously carried the uh, launch 11 from Kershaw obviously uh, you know for a different use and so forth but different blade shape and everything about it but uh, it, it, it that particular one did not have the deep carry, carry pocket clip as far as blade length we'd probably be similar in the Kershaw line with the launch 8 um, obviously not in shape but just in the length and then also in the carry they're very similar similar in size um, in terms of an actual blade that I found that kind of matched this particular one the spider cocanus matched up nearly one for one and I found it kind of funny the way that they just kind of fit together those two so obviously a different quality of materials a completely different use for this particular one um, and so forth but I just did find that the Warncliffe blade was just about the same on that particular one um, as far as other you know good things about it uh, you know it's a great fidgety made in the USA automatic um, at a fair price I think as far as the cons for me the, the upward tilted blade, I was not as much of a fan of. It, uh, you, you can't quite see it here, but uh, maybe you can see it there. As, as I straighten the blade, it, 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 it sweeps up instead of kind of being flat like most Warncliffe's would. And so for me, I found that a little bit more annoying. I guess maybe just from, I guess, probably times of use that I've had other Warncliffe's that are kind of flat there. So I just had to kind of learn how to use that a little bit differently. Um, and then the last thing was is, I really felt that this one should have just, instead of going for this two-tone, which has just a little bit of blackening there and then blackening on the top, which appears to be done after the grinding, or I, I mean before the grinding and the grind, they ground off the blackening, they're kind of targeting this. It obviously looks like as a tactical knife. And that being said, I would like just to go ahead and you know, grind this thing and then send it off for the blackening and keep it as a blackout model. So for me, that would be my one kind of probably biggest modification that I would prefer on this particular thing. Um, overall, though, I really did like the knife. I carried it for three straight weeks. 
It is not a heavy use thing. Going through double layered boxing is not great, but regular box and EDC carry, it was just fine. So if you're, okay, if you're allowed to carry a 3.5 inch automatic blade in your area, and hopefully you are, because sometimes the knife laws are a little bit foolish in places, um, this is a very solid knife and I would recommend it. Hope you have a great day. And if you uh, found this useful, go ahead and like and subscribe. Thanks a lot.